Hello everyone, it's that college football guy here with another video. Um, yeah, you're hearing a little noise in the background, the truck's warming up because I'm going to get ready to fire it up and leave here in a little bit. But it's time for another coaching carousel update and we got a big one. You saw the headline. We're going to get to that one first right off the jump because that is still kind of in the rumor phase because he hasn't officially accepted the job yet. But we're going to get to it. But first and foremost, let's get the housekeeping out of the way. Everyone, please smash that like button, hit the thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm. It helps with the analytics. It helps the video be seen by more people. Comment on the video. I want to hear your opinions on some of these head coaching or coordinator hires and head coaching hires. Not head coaching hires, but coordinator hires and moves, which are some are rather interesting. And subscribe to the channel. I didn't check this morning, but last night I saw we had 300 subscribers. I'm hoping we're there. I'm really hoping we're there. And we're on the road to 400. Thank you, everyone, for we've been doing a ping pong back and forth, back and forth. But we're finally there. So thank you, everyone. Thank you for this. I have a little bit of stuff here in the back of my head. I saw that. <laughs> yeah. We're rattling. All right, here we go. But right now, let's get into the story. And the first story off the bat is that, per multiple reports, TCU has offered Arkansas offensive coordinator Kendall Bryles their offensive coordinator position. And based on these same reports, Kendall Bryles may accept the position today, Thursday. So, we will see. Um, I kind of expect him to take it. Because Kendall's style kind of fits more of a Big 12 style than an SEC style. And TCU's not going anywhere. They're not going to go to the SEC anytime soon. So for them, I think I think for him it makes a good decision. Okay, also what's going to rather coach Corso moves. On just past January 17th, not too long ago, San Diego State offensive coordinator Jeff Horton retired after more than a decade with the university. And they, San Diego State promoted quarterback coach Ryan Lindley to offensive coordinator. Some of you longtime college football fans or subscribers of mine and viewers would recognize the name Ryan Lindley, former San Diego State quarterback. In fact, he's the all-time passing leader for San Diego State, and now he's the offensive coordinator. Let's see well, how well he does. Now, here's the one about <clears throat> how things happen. Oregon has hired Tulane defensive coordinator Chris Hampton to be there. to be a position coach at Oregon. So Chris Hampton leads to land to become a position coach. No position named. Well, a couple days later since I did this, Tulane has hire, is hiring Marshall's defensive coordinator Lance Guidry to be their defensive coordinator, filling that hole. Um, Appalachian State has hired Miami, the U, Miami, Florida's quarterback coach, Frank Ponce, to be their new offensive coordinator. Here's one that's a little interesting. Wisconsin hires Grand Valley State head coach Matt Mitchell, their head coach, to be Wisconsin's new special teams coach and outside linebackers coach. Okay. Um, I guess you got if, if you're going from FCS Division Two, I'm not sure what Grand Valley State is. I think Grand Valley State's FCS. Somebody please correct me in the comments. Um, to a position coach, basically. Well, I guess he didn't want to do group of five coordinator, so I guess so. Washington State, made a little news here, has hired Atlanta Falcons offensive analyst Nick Edwards to be their new wide receiver coach. Another NFL coach coming back to college. And per reports, because this is all, a couple of places come on here. Pete Thamel will put this up. Scotty B. the Baylor King put this up too. Give a shout out where it's due. Buffalo has parted ways with offensive coordinator Shane Montgomery. He was only there for, I think, a year. And have hired UCF defensive analyst DJ Mangus to be their offensive coordinator. And you're thinking to yourself, why is a defensive analyst becoming an offensive coordinator? He was offensive defensive analyst at UCF because, the, because of problems with the OC or whatever. They didn't want to hire him. Because Mangus was, the, was an offensive analyst with the Carolina Panthers in 2020. And he was the LSU passing coach in 2019 and 2021. 2019, yeah, Joe Burrow. He was his passing game passing game coordinator for Joe Burrow at LSU. He's a better offensive coach, but I think there was a problem on the defensive side. And whatever the reason was, or he did that. But that's interesting. Um, but tell me what you think in the comments over here. 
like um, San Diego State's made sense. Tulane made the move after Oregon made theirs. Appalachian State doing their stuff. Wisconsin's hiring it. FCS head coach to be your new special teams coach. Okay, that's interesting. Washington State pulled from the NFL, and I still want to know fully the story why DJ Mangus was a defensive analyst at UCF, because it is kind of interesting. And Kendall Bryles, well, we'll find out about you today, hopefully. I might do a little blurb and say, well, he took the job. Um, and all anything else that happens today. So let me know down in the comments what you think about everything. So thanks, everybody, for watching this video. <sighs> yeah, it's been, it was raining. I slept pretty damn deep. I slept through most of my alarm because it rained hard on this truck roof all night. So it stopped. It actually woke me up because of how quiet it got. <laughs> but uh, thanks, everybody, for watching the video. Hope everybody's having a great day. Be safe out there, and please be good to each other.